<laughs> Every time I start to record, my little muse jumps up on the desk. <laughs> Here, I left some food for you. Can you eat that? Okay, I had something else planned today. I um, ordered a kit of watercolor projects that I was going to do, and it was supposed to come... Actually, they said it was going to come Sunday. Uh, or no, they said it was going to come Saturday. And then they sent me a message, oh, it'll be this, um, Friday. And I'm like, oh, good, then I'll have a, you know, a couple extra days to get it done. And didn't come Friday, didn't come Saturday, didn't come Sunday. It's not coming today, it's coming tomorrow, so it's too late. <laughs> so I'm just going to do a sketchbook tour for now. Even though there's going to be another sketchbook tour on... Um, on Saturday, that's going to be my, um, my monthly one for my, my year long challenge one. But I just grabbed this one. I don't think, I have no idea. I have not really looked at it. Oh, it says 2018. So, um, so let's start with this. I got some stickers and kitty stickers, <laughs> crazy cat lady and Simon's cat. Um, it's a fern. I'm not sure where it came from. I'm pretty sure it's watercolor. That says November of 2018. This, I don't know why this is upside down. Ladybug. 2018 again. I uh, don't know where that's from either. This one I remember was from a Halloween card that my mom got and I said, oh, I really like it. So I wanted to paint it because it was just really cute. Uh, one of those projects from um, Let's Make Art, the Sarah Cray website. Um, she's got tons of projects. This is one of the first ones I did. It was a pair of boots with some little flowers in them. And I believe this one was too, but this one came out really bad. <laughs> I don't know. It's probably the paper. The paper's not all that great in these. But I'll blame it on the paper. I don't know. I had just started doing watercolor. I think these were just practice flowers because she she does very loose um, watercolor flowers and they're um, nice. And um, I don't know. That one's kind of nice, I guess. But most of them are kind of, well, they're just practice, right? This is this weird girl. I don't know why I did this with gigantic hair. I think most of these are probably watercolor, and I have little, a little rubber stamp of acorns for some reason. <laughs> Eight, so that's two, five years ago, probably. Well, a little over four years. It's a cup of coffee I did, I guess. This is also 2018, so I'm guessing that's the year I did this. Um, this looks like gouache, probably acrylic gouache. I don't know where I got the idea. Oh, this was um, a uh, variation on that other boot picture. I just decided to do one on its side and I put little kitties in it. So I think that one came out pretty good. Um, butterfly. This is, I don't know. That looks kind of gouache might be gouache and ink and watercolor in the background. I don't know. Little monarch butterfly. This was another one of her projects, a little um, hedgehog. And uh, this is Let's Make Art I'm talking about. And I did a second one. I think I like this one a little better. It's because it's got a cuter face, I guess. I'm not sure why I put tissue paper in here, because these don't smudge as far as I know, but, oh well. I believe this was another um, Sarah Cray one, giraffe, watercolor, I'm guessing, I think that came out pretty good, and this one was two, this came out pretty good. for that big smudge. <laughs> but yeah, that came out pretty good. And 
watercolor. That was one of those, I forget what kind of moths they are. Um, yeah, lunar moth maybe? I don't know, I can't think of what they're called. But yeah, um, some fishes. I believe this was also hers, her design. I think it came out okay, but it got kind of smudgy here. I don't know. I like the blue here. That's a good color. Um, I did a David Bowie picture. Um, I don't know. It kind of looks like him, I guess. Well, only because he's got this on it. Would you recognize it as him, I guess? But it came out kind of cool, actually. Um, I think it's watercolor, but this looks a lot. Either it's thick watercolor. That's not... Yeah, I think it is. I think it's just watercolor, like, out of the tube without adding water to it. Looks like there's some colored pencil on there, too. This is another one of those mods. I think I didn't like the first one, so I tried it again and didn't... I don't know. Still didn't really like it. I don't think... I, I think it would be better if I did it in a different um, medium, like maybe gouache or something. And that was another, for oh, all that came out cute. That was another project from Let's Make Art. And that's kind of where I got started into watercolor because I never did it before um, or never took classes on it. So don't mind my hands. I, I had an ink accident this morning. <laughs> um, yeah, it came out pretty cute. And this was another one of hers, Little Pig. So it's from uh, November, and this is into December. This was a project, but I know it wasn't. It might, I think it was a blue bird, but I, I wanted to do it in red. That came out kind of neat. It was one of her projects, I believe. Yeah, but I wanted to do it in red. This one was just one of mine that I just... Because I, I think I did those other hedgehogs, and I was like, I want to do a hedgehog that I like. So I, I did it with um, a lot more detail. She doesn't tend to do a lot of detail. Um, she likes to do it really loose and everything, which is great. But I'm a, like a detail kind of person. So it's a little baby and a mama um, hedgehog. And this was, this was one of hers, a uh, cardinal project. And I had... A lot of people really like it, and I had to do it a few more times to give them as gifts because they um, they wanted them. So I just I did them for them. <laughs> but this one, I don't think it turned out all that great. But uh, another butterfly. This one I like a little bit better because at least you have. I can tell I did liquid watercolor with this because you can see the um, the variation of color. It's not just one plain color. And these are the monstera leaves, so I did those in a couple of different colors. I like that little explosion right there. I don't know how much of this is showing up. Okay. And this was, I'm pretty sure this is another Sarah. Oh, this, the monstera leaf was probably um, Sarah Cray also. I think this whole book is is her, this is probably when I got started again, so. And I used like a salt technique in this, and I put some, uh, this stuff, the blue proof white on there to make stars and there's some little trees. Kinda of, kind of neat. And this was one of hers too. Little squirrel. Oh, I think I did the same picture twice. I did this one with um, pan uh, pan watercolors, and then I did it with liquid watercolors. And the the difference in the the color is obvious. I mean, if you can see them both, that's just this is why I like liquid watercolor because it's just so vibrant. I mean, there's nothing wrong with this, I guess, but it's just, it's muted, and I really love the bright colors. Uh, oh, I did this. This was one that I did on my own. Um, Little Mama. 
thought he was cute. I think she may have done a llama, and I just, um, <clears throat> again, I wanted to do one with more detail. I wanted to do more fur detail, so I did my own. I think this is acrylic. I saw this. This is a copy of somebody else's I saw. So it feels like it's acrylic, and it feels like it's got a, or gouache, and it's got a, a glazed, like a glazing over the top of it. Just a piece of pie. I don't know. I like pie. <laughs> I just liked it. I don't know why I liked it, but I did. So. This is a picture I saw online. I just really liked it. I thought it was weird and kind of goofy, and I just liked it. It sat here for a long time unfinished. I was looking through old photos that I had just recently, and I saw the picture that I worked from, and I was like, I don't remember ever finishing that, but I guess I came back and finished it. It looks like it's um, colored pencil. Okay, this is a... A little sheep, simple sheep. That was a Sarah Cray project. This is a little, a little pear. This wasn't, this was a, a different um, artist. I can't think of who it was. I want to say Anna something. Um, she does really gorgeous watercolor. Very, very detailed. Um, but this was as simple as I could get it. I think that came out pretty cool. This is a Sarah Cray, just mountains and sky. <laughs> Sarah Cray, this was just a little avocado project. Um, this was also one um, mermaid with fishies. Uh, I'm not sure about this one. This feels like it's gouache maybe and watercolor. I don't know. Tulip, not sure. Could be Sarah Cray, maybe not. I like the color of that. Um, blank pages. <laughs> this is, this looks like liquid watercolor, so I must have been just testing different colors. And then just scribbles on the back. I guess that's the end of the book. <laughs> so I got a couple pages in there I could fill up. Kitty's on the back. So that was that. That was a few years back. Um, I hope that was interesting. The um, thing that I ordered that was meant to that I was meant to do for this video was actually a Let's Make Art projects. It's um, it's a box of four floral projects, and I thought they would be fun to do, and they're very pretty. And I don't normally do flowers, so uh, so you'll see that next week. <laughs> because I'll do it as soon as it comes tomorrow and I can put it up next Tuesday. All right, thanks for watching <laughs> um, and I hope I'll see you next time. Bye.